Hello and welcome to New India Junction Newscast, where we give you the day's most interesting stories. Let's take a look at the stories for today. I'm your host Priyanka Deo, and today is Monday, December 2nd, 2019. Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan said that the current economic slowdown is temporary, not because of domestic issues, but a result of the ongoing US-China trade war. He also added that the fall in the GDP is cyclical in nature, and his statement comes after official data came out last week on the economy. The slowdown in the economy is not because of domestic reasons in India, but because of the trade war which has negatively impacted not just India, but several other countries as well. An Indigo captain who was travelling on a Pune-Delhi flight as a passenger was asked to operate the flight after it was announced that only CAT IIIB qualified pilots would be allowed to land in Delhi because of dense fog. The captain underwent compulsory pre-flight examinations but was not in uniform on this particular flight. Indigo said that it took the step to avoid a delayed departure and internal sources said, and I quote, we took internal clearances as per procedures to be adopted to avoid passenger inconvenience or there could have been a cancellation in such situations of the flight. Payments platform Paytm is likely to turn its payments bank into a small finance bank to provide services to businesses and farmers in rural and semi-urban India. CEO and founder Vijay Shekhar Sharma said that Paytm sees the need to offer small value credit cards to customers, which small finance banks are permitted to do, while payment banks are not. This would enable Paytm to provide financial services to the underserved market, especially for small businesses and for farmers. After crossing 1 billion transactions in September, the number of Unified Payments Interface or UPI transactions has reached a 1.22 billion mark for November 2019. The National Payments Corporation of India's or NCPI's announced that the value of UPI transactions for November was at 1.89 crore rupees. And according to NCPI's official data, it showed that the number of transactions saw a 19.4% growth comparison and a major boost to overall value of these transactions as compared to last month. Phone use while driving remains a safety concern in many parts of the world and has been included in lawmaking. Now, there may be an effective solution. The New South Wales government in Australia has started using the first cameras that use artificial intelligence to detect when drivers are using their phones. The system uses artificial intelligence to review photos for telltale signs of phone use with bot-fixed and trailer-mounted cameras on hand to spot distracted drivers. Now, according to officials, this could prevent up to 100 fatal and serious injury-related crashes within five years. And that's all the stories that we have for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. Also, be sure to leave a comment below because I want to know your opinion on these stories. And last but not least, but most importantly, subscribe to New India Junction. With that being said, we'll see you next time on NIJ Newscast. Till then, this is Priyanka Deo, signing off.